Hey guys, here's your gaming news for today, Wednesday, August 19th. You can find the source links in the description below to learn more about each topic. Blizzard announced today that Hearthstone's next expansion, The Grand Tournament, will launch on August 24th. The jousting-themed mode adds 132 cards, a new playboard, new spells, and a new special ability called Inspire. Gearbox Software and 3D Realms have settled a lawsuit over an aborted Duke Nukem project, which became the forerunner for the forthcoming bombshell by Interceptor Entertainment. A joint statement said Gearbox, 3D Realms, and Interceptor Entertainment voluntarily ended all litigation between them. The terms of the settlement were not announced, though Gearbox in a separate statement reaffirmed it is the full and rightful owner of the Duke Nukem franchise. Gung Ho Entertainment announced today that the complete version of episodic game Republic will be released on PlayStation 4 in early 2016 in both North America and Europe. Gung Ho says in this version players finally take full control of hope, suggesting you'll have more of a direct effect on things when playing the PlayStation 4 version. A price was not announced, but the existing PC version goes for $25. On September 1st, Rocksteady will release the first of Arkham Knight's Crime Fighter Challenge Packs. This includes six AR challenges for Batman, Nightwing, Robin, and Catwoman. Additional packs will follow in the ensuing months. Later in September, as suspected, Rocksteady will launch the 2008 Tumblr Batmobile Pack, which is inspired by Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. This bundle also comes with two new tracks. The PC edition of Arkham Knight is still facing issues. As a result, the game remains unavailable to buy at retailers and DLC has been delayed. An interim patch is expected to be released later this month. Sony is now accepting applications to beta test future PlayStation 4 firmware updates. According to the PlayStation blog, PlayStation 4 owners can sign up on the PlayStation website to test the functionality of the next incoming major system update. The number of beta testers will be limited, of course. The beta program is expected to begin in early September. PlayStation 4 beta testers will have the ability to roll back to the previous version of the PlayStation 4 system software at any time. And that's our news for today, which brings us to our GameSpin discussion of the day. What do you guys think about beta testing firmware updates? Is it something you'd be interested in doing, or do you fear potential risks to your hardware? We'd love to read your thoughts on this and any other topic reported today. Also, if you found this video helpful, please let us know by hitting that like button. And of course, if you dig what we're doing here at GameSpin, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you again tomorrow with more games industry coverage as it unfolds. Happy gaming, everyone!